Lord of Lords in. Father, we bless your name on today. We glorify you, God, and we give you the praise. We give you all the glory and the honor for your alone are worthy to be praised, God. Father, we just thank you for this day, for this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, God. And Father, today, God, we come boldly before your presence, God. First of all, we ask for forgiveness of all of our sins. Everything that we've said, done, that was displeasing to your sight, God. Father, we ask now, God, that you would create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit down on the inside of us, oh God. Father, we lift up the service before you now, God. Father, we ask, oh God, that you would have your way in this place, God. Father, we bind every spirit that is not like you, God. Every spirit of distraction, everything that may hinder the move on today, God. We thank you for how you're getting ready to move, God. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do, God. And Father, we ask that you would anoint the praise team, anoint the musicians, God. Allow them to sing and play under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Father, we ask, so oh God, hallelujah, that you would have free course in this place, God. We invoke your presence in this place, God. We invite you in, God. We know that service would not be service except you be in the midst. So, Father, Father, today, God, we ask, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place. Move in this place, God. Um, say what you want to say. Say what you need to say, God. Um, we pray that yokes will be destroyed, God. Um, we pray that lives will be changed. Um, in the name of Jesus, we pray. We call it done by faith. Um, amen and amen. And at this time, we're going to call forth, amen, prophetess Tiffany and Jews as she comes. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. If you're in the house, you ought to be excited Hallelujah. to be here. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. You're not praising me. You're praising Hallelujah. God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's go. We love him this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. Song is very simple. Somebody say, we came. We came. Talk to somebody. Say, we came, came. to give praise, praise. To, our God. to our God. Hallelujah. It's really simple. It's call and response. Y'all can sing with us. Is that all right? Everybody clap your hands like clap, clap, clap. I will sing praises unto my king, yeah. I will sing praises unto my king, yeah. He is creator of everything. He is creator of everything. I will exalt him, his name adore, yeah. I will exalt him, his name adore, yeah. Honor and reverence forevermore. Honor and reverence forevermore. Oh! 
Jesus. Jesus. Something ought to happen when you call him. Jesus. Demons tremble at his name, Jesus. Oh.
Father, behave. Slip your hands up right here. Come on, worshipers. Slip your hands up right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of your nevertheless. Is, is it okay if I... And because of your nevertheless, not my will, the Lord is going to fill this place. Here's the truth. Some people were nervous when you came back. They were nervous because of the anointing that rests on you. Here's the truth. I don't know if I'm safe to say this. Uh, I'm going to just talk to First Lady. I'm going to talk to you about him, but he can hear. He's always been a shaker. He's always been a mover, not just in church also in the streets. I know nothing about this man. But God changed the way that he shakes things up. People are nervous that if he ever taps into the place how he did in the street and the church they don't want to see it because they want to be able to say that they have more than he has. But what they hallelujah but what they don't realize is they might have more things right now. He has more favor with God than they will ever have. Watch this. I was in the car. My brothers were with me. I asked one question. Sometimes I think I'm strange. I, I promise you I do. I think I'm weird. I said, is he trying to buy this property? And he says, well, I don't know. He, he just came back and he said something. He says, I have favor with the owner. Or somebody else had favor with the manager. Y'all missed it. Y'all don't know when to shout. There's not going to be a middleman if this is where you decide to settle. There's, hallelujah. Y'all got to know when to shout. If God is going to do that for them, that means that deals and contracts and raises and Stuff is on the table for you. I'm going to sing because that's what they told me to do. But Woo, I feel the power of God in here. Florida is missing miracles. said this to my brothers last week. I said, God is getting ready to sweep through Florida. I may not ever be the prophet on the main stage. I don't have to be because I'm comfortable in my own skin. And the truth is, I don't want some of them attacks that them people go through. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you. Okay? I told them last week, I said, God is getting ready to sweep through Florida, and some leaders are getting ready to check up out of here. I told them last week, sister, I said, God is going to remove them because some of them, not because they did anything wrong, but it is time for the changing of the guard. And God is raising up another nation, watch this, of fathers. I might lose the whole church on this, so I'm going to go back to talking to you. Of fathers that's not trying to molest their children in church. Oh. And they need a mother that can nurture. That's not trying to prove that they can wear the best hat. I'm sorry, Pastor, if I'm out of. Which is why miracles will always be in this house. God even strategically placed you here behind the back side of something because he says I have to develop God Almighty I gotta go I have to develop this ministry for the capacity that is getting ready to walk into and it's 
next season. Father says you've incurred all of the losses that you're going to take. No more losses. Y'all don't know when to shout. Hey, who about shut up? I need you. Hey, watch it. Hey, hey. Tell somebody no more losses this season. Hey. No more losses. Ha ho. He had to talk about shut up. No more losses. No more. Hey, hey, hey. No more losses. Mm -mm. I'm not losing my children. I don't have nothing else to lose. I'm not losing my money. I'm not losing my house. I'm not losing my peace. I'm not losing my joy. I'm not losing my strength. Look at somebody and act like you a preacher for 30 seconds and say, neighbor, there are no more losses this season. Oh, no more losses. No more losses. I said, no more losses. I'm not going to lose my marriage. No more losses. Yeah, yeah. No more losses. No more losses. No more losses. I'm sorry. Hey, no more losses. Tell them revival just broke out. Revival just broke out. What you mean? Revival just broke out in my life. Everything that I thought was on life support comes off life support today. Hey, everything that was about to die, not going to die today. Hey, no more losses. Oh, I'm sorry. No more losses. Hey, see, you don't know how to praise them unless you lost some stuff. You lost some people that you wanted to be around. You lost some things. You lost some jobs. You lost some houses. You lost some things. But this time, you will not lose. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more losses. Oh, no more losses. Oh, no more losses. Woo. No more losses. Hey. No more losses. No more losses. No more losses. Tell them I got everything to gain this season. I got everything to gain. I got everything to gain. I got everything to gain. Mm, yeah. You, hey, hey, hey. I got everything to gain. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Mm. All I want to say what the Father says, and I promise you, I'm going to sit down. I'm so sorry. If this didn't go as planned, and I know we have programs and things, but sometimes God will He will shift our agendas. He gives instruction to this house. You know what prophet is among you by the words that they say? No, stay right there. Just think it's only that, that you will know that a prophet is among you, the Bible says, by its word coming to pass. Watch this. They don't read this part of the Bible. That's the A clause. The B clause, it says, and if it doesn't, you are to stone them. Too many people are calling themselves prophets and they went through no process. Watch this. The Lord says to this house, no more losses. And I'm going, hallelujah. I'm going to give you a testimony that I want to encourage you. And I promise you we're going to shift. But God, I feel the power of God in here. My God sister is in the hospital right now. My brothers know she is fighting cancer. I was scared and nervous because she's 30 something years old. She's 32, 32, 33. With the most abnormal type of cancer that they have never treated before. The doctors, they opened, Lord, I feel like running. They opened her up. And they said, uh, we don't really know how to tell you this. I told my godmother. I went to 
just see her this weekend. I drove two hours from Delaware to go see her and my mom and my godmom and to love on them. And she said, Sissy, she said, uh, the doctor told me it was an abnormal type of cancer. She said, but when they opened me up, they were confused. I said, why were they confused, baby? She said, uh, they said they were looking, trying to see if the cancer had went to any other part of my body. She said, the chemo didn't work that they were trying. She said, but here's the joy. It didn't spread. <laughs> No one to shout. But some people that said, well, what you mean? She still got to deal with cancer. Here's the joy. It could have metastasized throughout her body and could have made her uh, uh, more rapidly closer to death. But sometimes the miracle is not God bringing you out of it. It's him bringing you through it. Hey, glory. Tell somebody, I don't always want to get out. Sometimes I just want to get through. I just want to get through. God don't always got to snatch me out, but if he bring me through it, if he, I'll live with my issue long as he bring me through it. I'll live with what I got to live with long as he bring me through it. I'll deal with the heartache. I'll deal with the sickness. I'll deal with it as long as God don't leave me and bring me through it. I'm sorry. I got to sing. So we started to pray. Hey! Hallelujah. 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 What some people think is a death sentence. No, it's just me dig that into my testimony. He's bringing me through it. I'm sorry. So we begin to praise God. Because they said, we're going to try something new. But the one thing you can be happy about is that it's not going anywhere. It's staying in the same place. Woo! Hallelujah. Some of y'all want to get out of some stuff, but God is saying, no, I ain't going to bring you out, but I'm going to bring you through it. Woo! Just in case you think I'm not... Uh, as biblically sound, there's three Hebrew boys that went through a fire. The Bible says you got to go home and read it at your leisure. Pa Bishop going to preach. I'm not preaching. I'm just going to tell it to you. It says that they were going to the fire that was set up seven times hotter, and the people that took them there burned up first. So they could have walked out of it, but maybe the blessing was them going in the fire. Don't you worry about what your enemies are doing. They're going to be consumed by the stuff that they're trying to kill you with. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Hey, there's so many frauds around here that's trying to latch themselves onto him and say, oh, he's my brother, he's my this, and he's my that, and that's my sister, and that's my this, and that's my that. But the truth is they have underlying jealousy in their hearts. Now, I'm going to behave because they didn't call me here for this today. But the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. But God has unleashed some angels in this house. Angels are here. I said angels are here. There's one standing right there. Angels are here. Hallelujah, it's the angel of thrones. I dare you to tell them what you need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing this. I don't know. The pastor, the first lady, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to mess up nothing. I, I am so sorry. There's a spirit of freedom in this house. Ain't that a mess? I want to minister this song to you guys. Go to A flat for me. Every worshiper, open your mouth right here. Come on. Come on, every worshiper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, everybody in the room, musicians, singers. Every, hallelujah, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. 
This is what I do in my house, in my living room. We give you praise, Lord. Nobody like it. Whoa, oh God. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long. Yes, sure. 
what you want. I'll say what you want. Hear it, my Lord. Hear it, my Lord. I'll do what you want. Yes, God. I'll say what you want. Yes. Hear it, my Lord. Woo. Hear it, my Lord. I'll do. I'll do what you want. I'll say what you want. Hear it, my Lord. Hear it, my Lord. I'll do what you want. I'll do what you want. I'll say what you want. I'll say what you want. Hear it, my Lord. Hear it, my Lord. Hear it, my Lord. Hear it, my Lord. the song of the Lord in this place. Woo. You're trying to figure it out. Yeah. It's the song of the Lord. What does that mean? It's what God wants to hear. This is unrehearsed. This is straight from heaven. What does that mean? God thought enough of you this morning to let fresh Raymond plus glory hit this room. He thought enough of you this morning because he needed to get something to you. And I dare you to avail yourself right through here and tell him, I'll do what you want. I'll say what you want. If you need somebody, I'll do what you want. 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 I'll say what I'll say what you want. 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 Here am I, Lord. 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 I'll do what you want. Yes, yes, yes. I'll say what you want. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. Be pleased with our worship. Be pleased with our praise. We want to be used. We want to be used. Get the glory out of me. 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 Get the glory. Get the glory out of me. 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 I say this. And I'm a chill. In order for glory to show up, something had to die. Let's say that one more time. I thought I was in a Bible preaching church. I said, in order for glory to show up, something had to die. Drinking on the job. They say that a woman's hair is her glory. What they don't understand is that this part of her hair is dead. In order for glory to show up, Something had to die. Okay, maybe they didn't get it that way. Earl, let me try it like this. The Bible says that Lazarus was laying in a grave. They told him, hey, Jesus, your boy died. He's sick. He said, the sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. In order for glory to show up, mm -hmm, something has to die. Glory is in this room. So that means somebody's personality, ego, attitude, something had to die in order for glory to show up here. That meant there was a sacrifice on an altar. And when you want God to get glory out of you, sometimes he has to get glory out of the very pace that causes you so much pain. And so we receive your manifestation in this place today, God. Get the glory out of me. Out of my tears. Oh, get the glory out of me. Out of my struggle, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Get the glory out of me. Yeah, yeah. I just want you to be pleased with my life. Glory to rest 
Do it again, God. Do it again, God. To win again, God. Yeah, da 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 ba sha ya. To win again, God. Yeah, da 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 ba sha ya. To win again, God. Yeah, da da ba sha ta. To win again, God. To win again, God. Have your way in us. To win again, God. Have your way in us. To win again, God. Do it again, God. Glory to Jesus. Do it again, God. Glory to Jesus. Do it again, God. Hey, do it again, Lord. Do it again, God. Do it again, God. So sorry. methods 
I asked medical uh, a specialist, I asked them, does anybody ever come back from the situations that I've been in? And the nurse, I have three nurses on my team, they said no. So it has to be a miracle. This is why Luke was around Jesus. He was a doctor. He was not a believer. He was one of the Gentiles who wrote the gospel of Luke. He was a doctor by profession. He was intellectual and smart. He was there to verify that the disease was a disease. And when Jesus healed, he proved that it was a miracle because he was a doctor. And so I asked the nurse, I said, are you sure? She said, yes. I said, okay, so you've made me a living miracle. Got it. Anytime I've stepped foot into a place, this is why you can't go everywhere. Because when you go on territory, it means that you agree with what's going on. It's old school custom. If you sit under the table, it means you are in agreement or fellowship. I don't go everywhere, but I know that the Lord sent me here for you this morning. I know this without a shadow of a doubt. How do I know? Because all hell started breaking loose when y'all put the flyer up. I knew that I was supposed to be here this morning. People, you, why are you going over there? That's none of your business. I'm very good at them. Pray for me, mama, because I still got a little hood in me. I tell the folk, leave me alone because I'm not bothering you. I done helped you worship, and it's selfish of you to want to keep something to yourself and not share your miracle with somebody else because you don't know who needs to hear what's coming out of you. So when God began to deal with me, he said, Tiffany, I could not let you abort your promise. And for some of you who are under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that you have a promise that God has made over your life. I don't do this in praise and worship. My brother will tell you, I will sing and sit down. But I know that this is the power of God in this place. And with Pastor and First Lady's permission, some of you, I don't want to do nothing spooky. I just want to stand in agreement with you. That hallelujah. I want to stand, hey, glory to God. I want to stand in agreement with you because I believe that God is getting ready to do something miraculous in this house. I promise you by the time November, y'all not even going to recognize where you are. Hey, glory to God. God is doing an accelerated release, hey, of a miracle. And I know the man of God already laid hands on you, but I just need you to get up and turn around because God is getting ready to turn some things in your favor. And then, hey, in the next year, tell all about saw you and all about see you. Hey, he's getting ready to turn some stuff in your favor. God said, if you could just give me three months, hey, I'll prove to you that I was with you the whole time. I'll prove to you, even the stuff that you kept in secret. He saw you. Some hurts and some pains and some anguish you've been dealing with behind the closed door. But I hear the spirit of God say today, I came to find you. I came to pull you out. I came to thrust you from that place. It was not meant to break you, but it's getting ready to make your testimony even greater. I don't know what y'all do. If you ain't jealous, can somebody shout for her miracle? The next set of tears you cry is going to be tears of joy. The next set of tears you cry is going to be because you made it out. The next set of tears you cry is because you're going to have more than enough. The next set of tears you cry is going to be over good decisions. The next set of tears you cry is not because we broke your heart, but because you are well and whole. I'm sorry, I got to get out of this. Hey, hey, but tell somebody I agree with you. I agree with what God said. I agree with his testimony. Over the, I agree. Even as you're weeping, God is healing you right here in this moment. Hey, he's taking the pieces and making a masterpiece. Feel the weight lifting up off of you. Who na 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 so Hey, two and all the other. Hey, 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 I've never been to this lady's house, but I see her sitting on the side of the bed, holding the baby, saying, how did this happen? Why did this happen? What? They don't even understand what I'm going through. The mental anguish. Yes, Lord Jesus. Got to get out of this. 
I'm sorry. How? Glory to Jesus. Families are coming into this ministry. Pastor Bishop Travis, I gotta get out of here. First lady, I'm sorry, but there's some people that owe y'all apologies. He cut out soya. Here and they owe you some money. I gotta go. I said they owe you some apologies and they owe you some money because even when they oh God, I gotta get out of here. Y'all undergirded them when they were going through. I gotta get out of here. You undergirded them when their marriages were in trouble. I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't know why they were singing and eating today. Didn't I say I was going to go, go sing and eat? I promise you, this was not on the agenda. Hallelujah. But the Lord said, if you can give me, if you can give me to December, he said, and I may stretch it to January because I need to put you in a certain financial status. This is not. I'm getting ready to change your bracket again. I don't know what that means. And I'm talking to you and First Lady. I, I have no idea what that means. But he says, I'm getting ready to change your bracket again. And I see some, some sons and daughters, and I'm talking now in the pastorate that is sitting under you. Two of them are going to leave. And when they leave, five people, five other pastors are going to come join. Watch this. But they cannot leave without sowing a seed. Because they've been planning this for a while. And it was almost sent to be a heart attack against the ministry and against what you stand for. I'm sorry, I'm not one of them prophets that prophesy houses, cards, and money. I'm sorry. But I promise you, this next shift of sons and daughters are going to be with servitude. You will not raise a bastard generation. I don't understand what that means, but that's what God said. You will not raise a bastard generation. You've been wondering why God, man, and God told you to hold off on some of the things you wanted to sow into them. Because the Lord said they can't handle the capacity of what you want to sow. I really got to leave. I got to go, mama. Holler that my sister. I got to go. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. You've been wanting to do some things and plant some things and give some ideas and some strategies. I hear the Lord say, you are strategists. You are strategizing on how to help them because you and the first lady have been in prayer about some things. Concerning them. Not even concerning the things that you have laid before God. And you've been asking God, when is it the goal time? When is it the moment to say it? When, is, when, when should I sit down? When should I have this opportunity? The Lord said, wait. He said, wait till I give you the goal. He said, wait. He said, it's not that I'm not going to release them, but they, I have to get them to a place where they can receive because what you're going to give them also is some correction. And some of them cannot take that right now because one of them feel like they are your equal. When they don't understand, you served your way to get to here. Oh, God. I got to get out of this. Hey! Glory to God. Hallelujah. God says, I'm shifting and I'm changing. That's what you have been experiencing and seeing. And those who are real are going to stick and stay. They're not going to leave. Don't be afraid, man. I heard the Lord say, don't be afraid to step out. Don't be afraid. And he says, do not release vision yet to the people. You and your wife see it. It's going to happen. The Lord said, what you see is you're not crazy. You're not off. You shall have it. And I'm just going ahead and dismantle this demon that doesn't want you to have it. You will have it, and you will have multiple properties. And you will have the property where you want to house the saints of God. 
for less. I see it in the Holy Ghost. I see the property. I see it. You will have the commercial building. You will have, uh, what is it? It's like a cul-de-sac. Uh, it's, it's what we call it in Texas. It's like a place where it's like a whole bunch of houses. And uh, uh, we, we drove past them. But it's housing. In, in essence, it's housing for the people in the ministry so that they don't go broke. But they're sowing into the place where they're growing. The daycare is coming. The AA meeting is coming. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I don't know who sits on in the government, but there's some grants getting ready to come to this church. They're going to hear about it. They're going to tell you, and you're going to be active. I don't know if you have a grant writer, but if not, you better find one because it's coming quick. Yes, Lord. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I got to go. Jesus. This is what they call a breakthrough service when we don't know what's going to happen. But all we know is that God is here. For the few of you that believe the God in me, I want you to move quickly to the center aisle because I want to touch your hand and agree with your future and where God is going to take you. Hallelujah. And the food pantry and the homeless shelter is coming. I got to get out of this. You gonna hire people? Hey, glory to God! I hear one instruction. Oh Lord, first lady, they're not gonna like me, but it's okay. You only can hire three people from your family when you start out. God says go hire outside of our color, because they're going to work. They're not gonna look for a deal. When you get to the place where you want to be a blessing, then you bring on your family. That's what the Lord said. I didn't make this up. This is what the Lord said. Because you don't want them to run it into the ground. Because God is making you wealthy. Wealthy does not just mean money, but he's going to give you the stuff to match your praise and your worship. Okay. You got one job in the center line. I'm going to touch your hand. If you fall out, fall to the left or the right. Instructions. If you run, run this way. So you don't knock nobody down. The Holy Ghost is intelligent. That's what my mama used to say. The Holy Ghost does not act unseemingly. Pastor, if you will allow me to, I'm going to lay hands and then I'm going to have a seat. And I'm going to enjoy whatever's left of the service that we're supposed to do. Uh, musicians. Nothing. Okay. Musicians, I need y'all to give me some praise music. Um, y'all sound so wonderful. These singers are anointed. Uh, I'm coming back because y'all are crazy. I'm coming back. I'm coming back for y'all, the church first, and then I'll come for everybody else. I'm coming for your church first, and then I'll come for everybody else because I understand my assignment very well. And that's if the Lord agrees with the both of you. Um, I will come back. Listen, are you in expectation of what God's going to do? Now, I'm no psychic. I'm not a psychic. Let me just help you. If God gives me something to say to you, I'm going to say it. But I'm going to touch your hand in agreement with the will of God. And if you are connected to this ministry, I promise you, in the next seven days, God's going to open up something for you. Oh, Shata. Woo! Do it for him now. Hey, somebody catch him. Hey, glory, glory. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. Receive it. Oh.
praise him if you believe you receive it.
mishandled y'all last season. I just feel so sorry for them. Because they don't even know what they missed out on. They done missed out. <laughs> they done missed their miracle. They done missed their miracle. Somebody praise them with first lady. They don't even know what they missed out on. They have no idea. Tell them, you better be careful how you handle me. Because I might just be the one to write the check. I might just be the one to show it to you. I just might be the one. Tell somebody, I'm the one. I see you, sis. Tell them, I'm that one. I'm that one. I'm a sower. He always gives to me. Praise him, first lady. Praise him. Praise him. Yes. Somebody how? I'm so sorry. Praise him, first. Praise him, first. Praise him. See, you better be careful how you handle me. You didn't know when it was my turn. You didn't know when it was my time. You better be careful. Yes, Lord. Oh. You better be careful. I might be nothing to you, but I'm something to God. I might not be anything to you, but I'm something to God.
from here. It's up from here. It's up from here. That dog on L. That dog on L. He, he just pushing a shout and praise him. But let me tell you, I dance. I don't even know what's coming, but I know it's better than this. I don't know what's coming, but I know it's better than this. I know it's better than this, brother. I know it's better than this. What I got is good, but better is coming. Well, what? Go ahead. We got leapers and runners and shouters. Okay. Woo. 
You were never supposed to marry him in the first place because you are a preacher's wife. But you had to be under the right covering to groom you for it. The Lord says, if you can give me three years, I need three years. I need three years with you because I need to heal you from some stuff. I need three years to prepare you because when he comes, you're going to have your own stuff. So if he decides to step, you ain't never going to have to work.